everyone, this is Joanne from Island Girl Lifestyle and I'm coming to you with this video. So I want to welcome all my new followers and my returning followers. So um, for the new followers, this channel is all about home decor, DIY tutorials, entertaining um, tips and tricks, and hauls. So if that interests you, please stay tuned. So for today, I will be doing a DIY tutorial. I will also do a um, thrift haul, and I will show you how I styled my um, I, how I styled my island for the fall season. So we're gonna start off with the. Um, DIY tutorial situation where you had a candle that you really enjoyed and basically it's almost done and you try to figure out what to do with it. Like for instance, I have this candle here from Better Homes and Garden, I believe. I can't remember the scent, but I really enjoy it. But this is what's left of it. I have another candle here, also pretty much almost done. So I decided that I would repurpose these candles and transform them into a new candle. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this acorn canister, you know, thought it was cute. But I decided to spray paint it this copper color and basically, I'm going to create a new candle. I am going to melt um, these candles. I am also going to add a scent. I have Better Home and Garden's Pumpkin and Chai scent here. You can see that. And create a whole new candle. So if you're interested in seeing how I, I hot glued the wick inside of the bowl like so and what you want to do is you want to melt the candles i did the um the boiling method i just basically placed the jars in a pot of hot water and just waited for it to completely melt so to hold the wick in place i have these two wooden dowels here and i'm just going to do that that way the wick doesn't move around Stay straight and I have the pumpkin and chai better homes and garden um, fragrance oil that I'm going to be adding to the um, candle so once I'm done with that I am going to go ahead and pour the candle inside of the container so stay tuned the uh, pumpkin chai and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it. I'm going to pour the wax in the container like so. It says hot wax. I think some of it poured on the counter. It's fine, I'll just clean it up. Yep, some of us did fell. That's fine. So I have gone ahead and filled that up here. I am going to move the container because I did pour some wax and some of it poured on the side. I'll wait to clean that up. And then I would just leave this there um, for it to get hard, or you can also stick it in the in the freezer for um, so it can solidify faster. But this is pretty much all you have to do. You're just using um, candle wax that you already have, um, and if you want, you can add a fragrance oil to it or essential oil. You can also add essential oils to it. To customize the scent the way you want i wanted something more like a fall scent so i did i did add the pumpkin chai to it and that's pretty much it so that um 
concludes the tutorial. I will link in the description below the, um, the items that you need to make this candle, but it's rel relatively very simple to make. So the next segment will be a thrift haul. So I went to the thrift store um, a couple weeks ago and I picked up a few items. So it's a very small haul and I wanted to show you what I got. So one of the things I like to um, purchase or look for in the thrift store are recipe books and uh, entertaining books or home decor books. So I happened to find three that I was very interested in. The first one is called The Perfect Afternoon Tea Book. See here. And it's it doesn't say the author. So basically it says a collection of tea time treats. And I flipped, this is the inside of the book here. So I flipped through the pages and the recipes, I actually thought the recipes were really cool. Um, basically they had the introduction talks about different types of teas that you can use for like, if you're having like a little tea party things like that and then it has like little um you know little appetizers you know you have like cheese cheese muffin um it has desserts different types of desserts um medallines all types of different um desserts and treats that you can serve if you're having a tea party and that is something that I've been interested in doing for a while. I did purchase a, a really pretty tea set a while back. And um, I figured, I don't know, I can definitely try out these recipes here. So the next book that I purchased is, is from Southern Living Christmas Cookbook. And it has a lot of different recipes for the holidays. Um, it has desserts, drinks, um, cookie recipes, like, can I show you? Breakfast recipes that you can serve um, on Christmas day. Like really nice, um, you see here, banana foster cake. And it also has like decor ideas, how to like ideas on how you can decorate your home for the holiday. I thought that was really pretty. Like for instance here, you have these um, silver spoon. It's like a wreath, if you can see that. And it has like, it's adorned with small silver spoons, but I thought that was very unique. I've never seen anything like that. Um, gumdrop wreath that you can make with gumdrops. Um, just really pretty ideas on different type of wreaths that you can make. So I definitely picked this up. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much. So this book was $3.49. Um, this one was $2.49. So the last book is a home decor book and I thought it was very pretty. It's called Charles Fraudere Interiors. 
this is the cover here and it has like really nice um so this is the i always like to look at the, the book um the inside of the cover here um this is how it looks like really pretty um let me show you like it has like it's very french in kind of like traditional type of style and a little bit of farm high country it's like for instance this would be like more country like the plates baskets things like that um show you another one So this one was $5.49. This is a great coffee table it's from the thrift store. So moving along, I uh, decorate their homes for Christmas. So it looks like this. You can see here, um, it lights up. So um, usually people would buy several of these and place them on a table and have like little accessories, little trees, little statues, things like that, figurines and things like that. But I wanted to use this um, either on the kitchen island or somewhere near the coffee area, coffee bar area. And I was planning on painting it, spray painting it like a cream color and adding... Um, gold details so i purchased one and this was original so this was four dollars and 49 cents so whenever i go through the thrift store i always look for certain items cars plates things like that I always look for copper, anything copper, um, like the cake molds, things like that. I look for um, crystal, um, wicker, like really nice wicker baskets, things like that. So those are the things I always look for. So the next Christmas item that I found was this. I thought it was really nice. This would be a great item that you can add to a Christmas wreath. I plan on removing this part and removing the ribbon and using this for part of my Christmas wreath for this year. For this year. So this was $2.49. Next item is this crystal, I would say a candy jar. It has some weight to it. It says it's um, fine lead crystal, 24% fine lead. And I got this for $4.99. So this, is, this would be great on my coffee table. I can add some candies some type of candy to it, you know, this is perfect. Next item is the silver, um, I guess in the South they use these for mint julep, like a drink called mint julep, they would add ice to it and they would place a drink in here. And I always look for silver, that's another item that I like to look for is silver items and um this was three dollars and 49 cents and i could either leave it the way it is with all the patina or i can clean it up with some silver um silver cleaning um 
paste. So, next item is this Aladdin Vintage Thermos. I actually have been looking for something like this and I was very surprised when I found this at the thrift store. It's definitely vintage. Um, this is what it looks like. I haven't cleaned it up yet because I wanted to keep the sticker on there so you can see. I did pay $5 for this, $4.99. And it looks relatively, it's in good condition. This is the inside. I mean, it looks like it just needs a good cleaning, I think. Um, I just a neat, a good. I would probably soak this for a couple of days in a little bit of um, some dish soap and some a little tiny bit of bleach just to clean it up really good. But um, it's from the company Aladdin. Uh, and this was $4.99. Last item, I always like to look for um, either napkins, fabric napkins, um, shams, tablecloths, really nice tape, linen tablecloths. So I found this, um, I would say a dish towel. It's green and it has like olive branches. And I paid $2.99 for this one. I thought this would be perfect for the fall. Um, just to either style, use to style or whatever, but um, I picked this up. So that concludes my thrift haul. Next segment will be that I will be styling my um, island. Um, kitchen island and I'll show you the items that I will be using and you can watch as I style it so please stay tuned So for my kitchen island, I have this round um, kind of, what, what would you call this? Kind of seashell inspired mosaic tray that I purchased from, I believe I purchased this from um, Burlington Coat Factory a few years back. It's pretty big as you can see. And I'm just gonna place it on my kitchen island table. So I like to, um, whenever I'm styling a surface, I like to use a tray to kind of put everything together. So this is what it looks like. The next item is this beautiful plant that I've placed in this beautiful blue and white um, vase here. So I'm going to place the plant towards the back. Next item, I have the small um, ceramic cake stand. Uh, I believe I purchased this from Target a while back. I think it's like, I paid $3 for this. So I'm going to place that right here. I am also going to add some moss. Place some moss, cover them basically. A little bit of moss here. Just here. And I'm going to add this pheasant statue that I purchased from Michaels a couple years from now. It was actually, um, a different color uh, and I went ahead and I painted it black then I spray painted it with gold um, I didn't like 
completely cover it because I wanted the, the black to kind of show through. So I'm just gonna place it here. I'm gonna move it up here like this. And then I'm going to just use the moss to just cover around the cake stand to add a more organic, kind of organic feel to that. Add some in the back. So it looks like that. So it looks like this, see it, okay? So I'm gonna move this here. I don't know if you can see that. The next item here, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's like an acorn that says thankful. And I'm going to place that here, right here. next item is this apple that i also purchased from the dollar tree i'm gonna place it right here so move this like this place the apple right here I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the apple because I actually might replace it with the pumpkin candle that I've made earlier. But for now, this is how I did, this is how I styled the um, island. I will also add a dish towel, so. So the next item is this dish towel that I purchased. I went to Newport Mansion last weekend and I um, purchased this dish towel from the gift shop. I thought it was really nice. I love the color. I like to use mustard yellow for fall. So um, I'm just basically going to just Place that in the tray. Place the thankful um, little sign. And then I have here the pumpkin candle that I made earlier. Place that right there. And voila. This is how I styled my This is how I styled my island table. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave me a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I do plan on having more tutorial, DIY tutorials. Um, 
decorating tips and tricks on entertaining. So definitely stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.